So RoboCop has these prime directives. There's three of them, which is kind of similar to the three laws of Asimov. So number one is serve the public trust. Number two, protect the innocent. Number three, uphold the law. Are these good directives for RoboCop? I mean, they seem like all good things, right? Like protect the people, serve the public, and uphold the law. All those seem like good stuff. Yeah. So what is what is the public trust? What does that mean exactly? Public Oof. trust. Okay. So public is like the general people, not mm -hmm. specific people. But trust, do they mean trust as in the like people are trusting or do they mean trust is in like the good of the people is it also is there like a legal trust you know like a trust fund like the entity the entity yeah. of the public maybe that's what it is so the trust fund is some sort of has a legal meaning and maybe public trust has a similar meaning can we look it up maybe it means what something? is legal meaning trust a trust is the legal relationship between uh, created in lifetime or in death by a settlor where assets are placed under the control of a trustee for the benefit or of a beneficiary or of a specific specified person okay can we put public trust can do close enough, close enough. <laughs> public trust doctrine is a legal principle establishing that a cert that certain natural and cultural resources are preserved for public use Natural resources held under trust can be can include navigable navigable waters, wildlife, or land. Oh, so he's like protecting anything that's owned by the public or has benefits mm. to the public, like water, parks, streets. He needs Safety. to infrastructure. Right. He needs to protect mm. it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. I like that. Protect the innocent. Mm, by public trust okay but what defines the public trust like he works in detroit does mm -hmm. that mean he needs to do things for greater michigan like does he need to do like does he need to care about the great lakes i think the answer has to be yes but what if what if ocp is like you know we benefit the community quite a lot so Protecting OCP is the same as protecting the public trust. I think so, as long as they're both aligned. Okay. So oh, wait, OCP... wait, wait. But what if protecting OCP would do a greater benefit for the community than directly protecting the actual community? Isn't that also protecting the public trust? Right. So if OCP is polluting a waterway mm -hmm. and OCP is providing jobs to the community. Should RoboCop protect OCP or like, should RoboCop stop OCP from polluting? That's ambiguous. I don't know. It, de it depends. It depends on how RoboCop's programming works out the greater good. Mm -hmm. Like, what does it mean to serve the public trust? I want to say Murphy, the cop, yeah, would be anti-OCP pollution, pro-protect the environment from pollution. I agree. But this is RoboCop. I don't know. Okay, okay, I don't know. Move on. Yeah, <laughs> Protect okay. the innocent. That seems fine. That seems fine. If a guy is a criminal, kill him. If a guy is not a criminal, it's fine. Okay, yes. that's wishy-washy, yeah. But it, yeah, it's also wishy-washy because it depends on what RoboCop sees as innocent. That's right. I mean, if somebody is committing a crime now versus somebody has committed a crime in the past but is now not, does that mean he's innocent or guilty? Does that mean he needs to be punished or does that mean he just doesn't need to be protected? That's right, because it's different. You don't necessarily, to, to not protect someone is not necessarily the same as punishing them. Right. Also, there are magnitudes of innocence. Like if you steal a lollipop that's from mm -hmm. a store, that's different than stealing a lollipop from a kid. That's different than stealing an entire car. That's different than, you know, stealing someone's house or whatever. Like, they're all stealing, but they're very different. Right. And then how is innocence and guilt determined? Is that court of law stuff? Because we know that's a big messy thing. Yeah. I don't know. Which then get, gets into uphold law number three. And the law is not always great. If you go by the letter of the law, bad things can happen for sure. Mm -hmm. And the law changes too. The law I wonder changes. How, <laughs> Robocop needs frequent updating. <laughs> 
right because you could you could create a law pollution is legal mm -hmm. which contradicts one but mm -hmm. if you stop the pollution you're contradicting three these are these are good rules of thumb for maybe a human to follow who is being honest <laughs> and has integrity uh, but these could easily be gamed right yeah and, and even even if it's not gamed which i totally valid it's totally possible it could be gamed <laughs> they could be easily contradictory. So like Robocop starts up oh, yeah. and he's like frozen, like, like <laughs> con conflicting messages. Like don't know what to do. Right. Cause you'd almost think in every scenario that's complicated, mm -hmm. there's going to be aspects of one, two, and three that contradict each other. Right. It's not so clean. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. And these are separate. These are separate from Asimov's laws. What are Asimov's laws? Let's let's look. As, let's look that up. Yeah. yeah. Wrong window. Asimov laws. These are like the laws of robotics. Yeah. So a robot may not injure a human being or through through inaction. Wait, wait, wait. Let me start again. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Okay. okay. Reasonable. A robot must obey orders given it by human beings except when such orders would conflict with the first law okay yeah. and oh yeah so you can't you can't give a robot an order which then can, can then hurts someone i see okay mm -hmm. a robot must protect his own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law so right. these feel tighter meaning harder to game but i think it's still i don't think there's any way you could not make a set of laws like this gameable Hmm. But it certainly feels tighter but by, by, than by gameable. You mean like by gameable? You mean like there's you can give it scenarios or create, manufacture situations where these laws become wishy washy. Is right. that what you mean? I yeah. So if I wanted a robot to hurt people because mm -hmm. I'm evil, but I can't tell it to go murder somebody, can I get it to do actions that end up there, but I haven't violate it? Make it not violate any of these laws. Mm. Uh, so I, I feel like you could create dilemmas you could create conflicts of interest so that it has to I violate see. one in order to do anything i see so, oh wow you okay so okay so the laws mm -hmm. individually all make sense together they all make sense but you're saying you can create situations where to do either an action to either do an action or an inaction or, or to do anything, you're going to violate yeah. one of them. I guess a good example we came up with was pollution and OCP. If okay. OCP pollutes the river, that harms people down the line in a, in a village down the river. Yep. But if you stop OCP and put them out of business from, because they can't pollute anymore, then everybody loses their job and they go into squalor. So which one do I do? And I can't do inaction. So I got to pick one. And picking one violates something. That's complicated. It's complicated. I think it's impossible to write perfect laws like that, but it's fun.